Once upon a time, there used to be a very beautiful and enthralling village near a very peaceful river. In that village, there lived a young, merciful and gullible boy named Michael. He was the only son of his parents. He was so gullible that even a boy of 10 years old could fool him. Michael had big dreams and aspirations in his life, and he was completely determined to achieve them, no matter what obstacles came his way. He was prepared to cope with them. However, his life was filled with many toxic people who did not want Michael to make any progress and achieve any accomplishments in his life. Michael soon realized that there were people in his life who were constantly bringing him down from reaching where he always wanted to reach. These were the toxic people who constantly criticized, belittled and discouraged him. Most of these toxic people were none other than his friends, relatives and neighbors who were always envious of him. First, Michael tried to ignore these toxic people and continued to pursue his dreams. But as time went on, their negativity started to affect his confidence and motivation. He began to doubt himself and his abilities. Toxic people were bringing him down and he knew that he had to do something about it. One day, Michael made up his mind to confront the toxic people in his life. He told them how their negativity and negative talks were affecting him and that he could no longer tolerate it. Some of them were apologetic, while others continued to be toxic. Michael realized that cutting himself off from the toxic people was not easy for him, but it was necessary for his well-being and success. From that day on, Michael made a conscious effort to surround himself with supportive and positive people who could motivate and inspire him through his journey. One day, when Michael was sitting under a large tree near the beautiful pond of his village, a few of his negative friends, who had become much richer in their lives, approached Michael and began to ask what he had thought to do in the near future and what he had done in his life so far. At this time, Michael could say nothing to them, but he knew in his heart that his, those friends, were his ill wishes in the guise of his friends. That's why he said nothing to them about his future plans, but somewhere or the other. It had hurt Michael's feelings. Now he was getting ambiguous about his dreams and aspirations being disturbed by all this. Michael thought to approach an old wise Buddhist monk to seek his guidance and support that could sail his boat of life through the ocean of life and about whom one of his very good friends had told him. The Buddhist monk used to reside peacefully with his disciples in his monastery nestled among the high and wider valleys. The wise old Buddhist monk was renowned for his guidance, profound wisdom and deep knowledge. After covering the arduous journey to the monastery, Michael finally reached there. Having reached there, Michael saw that the Buddhist monk had already been engaged in solving the problems and sufferings of the people troubled in life. Michael bowed respectfully before the monk and sat down. When Michael's turn came, he told the whole happening to the monk. He said to the monk, Sir, people taunt, discourage, belittle, and disrespect me whenever and wherever they find any opportunity. At first, the monk went on listening to all this and then smiled gently and said, Michael, people start getting jealous of you. They start belittling and speaking ill of you. When they find you better than themselves, when they see you getting ahead of them in life, you must be happy that people are jealous of you and say bad things to you. This shows that somewhere you are ahead of those people in the race of life. On this, Michael said, Sir, however, please teach and guide me on how I can avoid and handle these plaguing and peace-disturbing people in my life. On this, the monk said to Michael, My son, many people face the problem of toxic people in their life. Toxic people are those who are negative, rude, mean, or dishonest. They try to bring others down or hurt them with their words and actions. They create a lot of stress and unhappiness in others' lives. That's why today I will tell you the three best ways to keep toxic people away from your life and live a peaceful life. Then listen carefully, Michael. The first best way to remove bad and toxic people from your life is to never give your undivided attention to them. At first, these people will hurt you with their negative words and actions and then later ask you if you got hurt. 
So if you really want to live a peaceful life, where there should be no toxic elements and no negativity, then you have to put your full attention on what you want to do in your life and don't let anything distract you from doing it. Just focus only on what is important to you and what you have control over. Michael, when we are focused on our work, our priorities, then we don't have the time to see all the drama around us. We don't have the time to notice the mistakes of others. Wherever you go, you will surely find such toxic people who will always try to bring you down to their level. After imparting the first lesson to Michael, the monk started telling the second best way to handle the toxic people and the people who don't like us. Michael, wherever you find any toxic people around you, then never respond to them. This is the best reply to them from our side. Just keep yourself engaged in what's best for you, what's best for your present and future. The more you pay attention to what these people say, the more you will trouble yourself, the more you will break yourself from within. That's why you have to make yourself strong, both inside and outside, so that whenever you come across a bad person, you will be ready for it. They were always toxic before you, and they will be toxic after you. You don't have to make any room for people who cause you pain or suffering or make you feel small. You don't have to make any room for the people who make you feel bad, who make you feel broken from the inside, who always try to disregard your feelings and who always dislike and disrespect you and your emotions. Michael, you are good to them until you're working for them. And as soon as you stop working for them, they will not remember what you did for them. All they will remember is what you didn't do for them. Such people use innocent people to get their work done. And when their work is completed, they do not even ask those people about their well-being. Let's just say these people are mean and selfish right from the beginning. That's why try to keep yourself away from these toxic people as much as possible, because these people themselves are of negative energy and they also affect other people with their negative energy and actions. Saying all this and giving three valuable lessons to Michael about how to handle toxic people in life, the monk closed his divine eyes and began to meditate again. Michael got up and thanked the monk for imparting these three invaluable teachings about toxic people for his guidance and spiritual support. After bowing down respectfully before the monk, Michael returned from there. Now, whenever Michael encountered any negative person, or toxic people in his village or anywhere else. He never responded to them, nor did he think about what those negative elements were saying about him, whether it was good or bad. Slowly, by taking control of his relationships and surrounding himself with positivity, Michael was able to overcome the obstacles in his way and achieve the goals he always wanted to achieve. If you found inspiration in this story, support us by hitting the like button sharing it with your friends and leaving a comment below with your thoughts. For more moments of motivation and tranquility, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Your engagement fuels our journey. Thank you for watching.